What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And did you miss it yesterday? I didn't do a Bud Light video yesterday. There just wasn't enough significant news. It broke an incredible streak of nearly two months straight of doing a Bud Light video every single day. And now we've got some new spicy updates. So we do the video, right? And I want to appreciate, I want to tell everyone I appreciate you all for uh, sticking with the channel. If you're enjoying it, wherever you're watching it, Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, YouTube, I hope that you'll subscribe. I hope I'll earn that today. Um, and I want to thank everyone for all your support over at my coffee company, Coffee Brand Coffee, where we're um, getting new customers every day. There's over 5,100 reviews from actual customers with an average review score of 4.8 out of 5. We've got something like uh, 20 plus different varieties of coffee from a light roast, dark roast, medium roast. We have Ethiopian, which is really popular our bourbon coffee. We roast all of this ourselves. Each flavor is personally picked and dialed in by me. All the amounts of flavoring, the taste is flavor profiles done by me. We have s'mores coffee, which rolled out this week. Peaches and cream, hazelnut cream, orange creamsicle. You get these, you put a little regular cream in there, just a little cream, and the flavor really comes out. We've got cold brews. If you don't like, we've got K-cups. If you don't like tea, coffee, we've got tea and cocoa. And if you don't like coffee, tea, or cocoa, we have K-cups. I mean, merch, hats, and things of that nature. So promo code, the quartering to save. I hope to earn your business today. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. All I ask is that you give it a try. Costco is selling its last round of Bud Light. Gives beer its fatal Death Star. Costco pulling Bud Light. Now, some people say it could be just that they're pulling this particular type of Bud Light. It's difficult to say. I was at Costco last week, or I think it was right before the 4th or the week of the 4th. The Bud Light was stacked to the ceiling, everything else selling out. Now, granted, the real key to picking up you know, liquor at, but at Costco is to use Kirkland's brand. It's, it's just as good, in my opinion, as a lot of the top shelf stuff, and it's incredibly cheap. Their other stuff, their name brand stuff, isn't that much cheaper than anywhere else. But anyway, the Bud Light boycott seemingly reached a new milestone after Costco appeared to halt plans to restock the beer. The grocery store centered appeared to have given the beer its Death Star, which is an asterisk placed next to the price of a product. When the product received this asterisk, it signifies that Costco will not restock the item once it is sold out, according to Independent Journal Review. Multiple photos of the chain's, quote, Death Star next to the price of Bud Light that Costco is selling has been posted online. Costco says, star of death for Bud Light, it will not be restocked. I mean, I think if you look, I don't think it's on the, can you see it on the big overhead sign? Yep, here it is. You see in the upper right? That's it. And by the way, Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Platinum, two 12-pack case sale, 15 bucks. 15 bucks for 24 beers? That's actually a pretty good deal. 60 cents a can. I'm not drinking it. And apparently no one else is either. You see it on the smaller price tag here, the asterisk as well. Costco's apparent decision not to restock Bud Light comes after the beer experience major backlash for its partnership. We already know. Since then, Bud Light sales have fallen sharply, even to the point of hurting other brands in the portfolio of Anheuser-Busch. The beer brand owned by Anheuser-Busch went dark on Twitter after April 14th when a tweet reading TGIF was met with upset online. In June, Bud Light wrote on Twitter for the first time after it was forced to address the Mulvaney disaster. I mean, it's so funny to me. Um, you know, it, it's, it's possible that, you know, does it mean that Costco is going to never carry Bud Light again? I don't think, I don't know if that means that. It could just be that particular type of Bud Light. It's possible. Um, you know, the company focused on keeping its costs down, so pass the low on to the cus its price members, the chain workers, buyers work to ensure that if they place large orders, their suppliers will do even more to cut costs so the chain can deliver its cheapest shelf prices. Um, that it's possible, however, only when the items sell well. Costco can place huge orders because it offers a limited selection, so whatever it takes up shelf space almost always sells very well. The chain does not stock every size of the item, or much in the way of variety. Instead, it focuses on clear winners and offers them as cheaply as possible. 
This could mean selling Coca-Cola products only in packs of 36 12-ounce cans because that's the most economical offering. Customers sacrifice selection, but they get the best possible price per can. That's true. I was buying, I'm new to Costco, and I'm not like a Costco cultist, okay? So don't worry about it. But I also didn't know when we got a, a Costco membership that they changed their products often. So I was like, oh, great. So we came, we went and we bought everything one time, and now, and now what? Um, but then I went back, I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of new stuff. They had like Pokemon cards and all sorts of stuff. And um, I was trying to get soda for fourth, a 4th of July get together, and they only had these like huge pallets. And I'm like, oh, I only really want like six cans. So uh, I learned that the hard way. Um, and you, you know, what else is interesting here is you have potential layoffs coming up. This is the big one. This is the big story. Former Anheuser-Busch executive warns of layoffs as Bud Light's sales struggle. Former Anheuser-Busch executive recently spoke out about the ongoing boycott the company is facing and warned of more layoffs as Bud, sale light, Bud's, Bud Light sales decline. Answer Freerichs, a former president of operations for Anheuser-Busch, re- recently spoke to Fox Business Network, the Clayman Countdown, and said that Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth should have responded differently to the ongoing controversy. Well, yeah, that's putting it lightly. Freerich says that Whitworth should have responded by saying, we wouldn't do this again because we've lost billions of dollars of market cap. Our brands are down almost 30%, and all of a sudden we're putting a lot of suppliers at our risk, and they're laying off hundreds of people from jobs at some of the suppliers. Quote, there's going to be more employees at risk if we don't find a CEO who can somehow address the situation, get those customers back that were always loyal to Bud Light, and move this company forward, Freerich said. Newsweek reached out to Anheuser-Busch for comment via email. Since April, Bud Light and its parent company, Anheuser-Busch, have continued to face criticism and ongoing boycott after they partnered with, of course, Dylan Mulvaney. We already know about that. Uh, you know, the, the, the interesting thing about the layoffs, I mean, I would suspect that that's not exactly a hot take. If production is down, if stores are pulling your product, um, you just don't have as many employees, do you? You don't need as many employees. But this is one of those times where it's time to then put that blame at the feet of the CEO because he's the one that ultimately is responsible for it. Um, and you know the fact that, they, that they've let this fester for as long as they have has been a colossal failure. I mean, you have CNN even. CNN drops the ball in latest comments on Bud Light controversy. The mood news desk might want to double check that teleprompter. And this is just, I mean, again, all this was is they're trying to cover it, right? They're trying to cover it. And they end up, we talked about this the other day. We end up, they end up misgendering uh, Dylan Mulvaney. And then they were forced to apologize, which I have their pathetic apology right here. Hold, please. Um, as well. Be- look, at, look at this. Look at CNN. This is what CNN is. This is at the end of the show the other day. Before we wrap up today, we do want to make an important note. Yesterday in a segment about transgender influencer Dylan (laughs) Mulvaney, who was featured in Bud Light's recent campaign, she was mistakenly referred to by the wrong pronoun. The (laughs) statement aims to honor individuals' ways of identifying themselves, and we apologize for that error. Where's the self-flagellation? You got to, like... You got to get the whip out. You got to make you got to really show me you feel bad about it. And then the, you get this article here. Uh, you know, New York Times columnist mocks punny power of woke capitalism after Bud Light and Target backlash. Bud Light no longer ranks among the America's top 10 beers in the aftermath of its polarizing partnership with Dylan Mulvaney. I have bad news for combatants on both sides of this war. For those on the left who take comfort in seeing big companies take bold stands on the issue they care about, I'm here to tell you that those companies care much more about their bottom line than your beloved issue. Opinion columnist Lydia Paul Green wrote, well, no kidding. You have to be a complete moron to not know that. Then again, I mean, we're talking about lefties. So, you know, (laughs) I mean, not liberals. I'm cool with you. I'm talking about leftist activists, weirdos. Okay. But conservatives also put too much stock in the impact of their boycott against woke companies like Anheuser-Busch 
Paul Green argued. While Bud Light parent company lost billions of market value and continues to see its sales plummet, the columnist said conservatives had won a pyrrhic victory because liberal messaging around abounds in the beer industry. And those on the right who feel that the wind is at their back with successful boycotts of woke brands are likely to be disappointed for similar reasons. Even this year's big success, a boycott of Bud Light after it worked with Dylan Mulvaney as a part of a broader social media campaign, apparently caused the stock of the brewing giant to drop, was a pyrrhic victory. It is all but impossible to find a beer company that doesn't participate in selling pride. Are you joking? There are thousands of companies that don't. You mean it's impossible to find one of the top three Globo Corpos that don't? Okay, well, that's true. Like Coors, Miller Lite, they all do pride stuff. But see, the thing is, they didn't get boycotted for doing a pride commercial. They didn't get boycotted for working with an LGBTQ member. They got boycotted for working with what many people consider is an insult to women in woman face. And now you're going to have to lay off employees and you're going to have to continue, by the way, continue the, the Bud Light, the Bud Light uh, tw Twitter account continues to get bombarded. 16 hours, Wednesday night beers, 3,000 comments, 900 likes. Now it is getting a little better, but here's 4,000 to 500. They literally can't tweet. They're getting, still getting bombarded, and until they apologize, that's never going to stop. It's not going to get any better, but I'm here for it because, you know, these Bud Light videos are keeping my wonderful editors and thumbnail guy employed, so I appreciate that. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below, and wherever you're watching it, Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, YouTube, please follow me. I hope I'll earn your subscription, and check out coffeebrandcoffee.com. Hope to earn your business there, too, and we'll talk to you again real soon.